How's it going my creatures? This is X Diggy Gaming here and today we are playing WWE Here Comes the Pain. So this is a very old game for the PlayStation 2 and I have played it years ago. So we are playing the season mode and remember I've not played this in forever so if we lose matches we lose matches. Created stables can be used in would you like to include stables from, don't have any, so just click no. Default stables will be used. You can still stables after you. Yes. Right. So this is our lineup, Smackdown and Raw. This is when it, there wasn't cross brands, etc. No, it was all just one brand. And with quite a lot of people. Oh, there's Ultimo Dragon. Right, so that's just it then. I'm not even sure who we're gonna go. Iron Sheik and George Steele, Hello Billy Jim and stuff like that, my god. Chris Benoit, we need to remove him. <laughs> I'm joking. Undertaker, Bubbery Dudley, quite nice. Um, I think we're gonna move Cena over to Raw. Because we're gonna go Cena. What? Are you kidding me? Um, who can we replace him with? Oh, there's Roddy Piper. Damn. Um, this makes it very hard. Go the Rock. Damn. Right, where's Cena? Like, cause Cena was very big during this, like during the uh, uh, um, Ruthless Aggression era, that's why I want to go home. And putting him in Raw means he can get into his rivalry with Eric Bischoff, I believe. There is one question people always ask me, why do you wrestle? I ask myself the same question every morning, feeling the pain but I do it for so many reasons. The rush of adrenaline, the roar of the crowd, the glory of the championship. But I know there is more to it. Maybe I'm doing this to find an answer. Maybe when I get to the top of this squared circle I find blah blah blah. Maybe I won't find out anything. But I guess I'll step into the ring again tonight. Because I know the view from in there is unbelievable. Okay, so I think that's the... The Smackdown theme song at that time? Was it not? WrestleMania was a huge success, but the dust has not settled just yet. The main event was awesome. I think the fans had trouble sleeping last night. Then we should apologise ahead of the time. You might have trouble sleeping tonight as well. Alright, JR. So we've just came off of a big... Oh, there he is, Eric Bischoff. Hey, Cena. As you probably know, I'm the GM of Raw. And as a GM, I have certain duty to provide the best quality show to the fans. And you're a smart guy, so I don't need to explain this to you. Don't let the pressure get to you. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Alright, Bischoff. Fight me one on one. So it uh, is John Cena versus Bubba Ray Dudley, also known as Billy Ray in today. So we just came off a of Rodney Mack versus Goldust, not a very big match, and neither is Bubba Ray Dudley versus John Cena, but we'll get 1000 SD for it, which is Smackdown Dolls. I don't know, let's go. Here we go with the Dudley boys coming to the ring. There is the rocket blown up in the old Raw Arena with the it announce table on the top of the ramp. Great memories of that being that table being up there, having JR and Jerry Law just standing there. So let's just get on to Cena's entrance. Here is a doctor of thugonomics coming out with his chain gang. He is ready for a war with Bubba Ray Dudley. Let's go. So we start off with John Cena versus Bubba Ray Dudley. So oops I'm actually confused at everything in this game. I, I don't even know the controls yet. But I'm sure I'll learn that. Right, so X is to do that and stuff. So, this game was being requested by WWE Town Nation and a few others. And this is me finally getting around to it. 
and I can't really complain, it's a great game. I don't know why I have it and I've never even properly played it. It's just, we obviously need to remember that it's very different to WWE 2K15 that is now the game coming out. That now the game that's already out but 2K16 is coming soon. So I just need to get used to the controls as I said. Oh, we just bitch slapped him a few times. Oh, we're going for a big scoot slam. There we go. Oh, big DDT by Cena. We're back in the ring now. And Cena going off the top with just an elbow and the ref is down. The ref will be down for about three years because of this game, but... Oh, well, that's what happens. Hopefully we blocked that, but we probably didn't. Oh, and now we're getting our ass kicked. Nope, we, oh, we went for a low blow behind the ref's back. Very dirty Cena. He just went with a big elbow to the back of the neck. Cena's gained a lot of momentum during this match with help from me controlling him. We started off with a rocky start. But we seem... Oh my god! He's went for the FU. Also known as the attitude adjustment. Oh damn. And we got a pinfall. No we don't. We've got a drag. Now he's going for the pinfall, we have a 1, a 2, and a kick out by Bubba Ray Dudley. Amazing resilience from Bubba Ray Dudley. Cena going for another FU, Errol Hebner is even surprised by this. Amazing strength to pick up the near 300 pound Bubba Ray Dudley. And there is a pinfall, 1, 2, and... Three, Cena has picked up the victory in a very hard contest and he is going to taunt the other wrestler. There is Cena, our winner of this contest, in a very hard fought victory against one member of Team 3D, Bubba Ray Dudley. And there is Cena just gloating what he can because he just picked up the victory in a perfect clean way. So that's us picked up our payment for this match and it was 1000 SD and superstar points of 74. So we got experience just plus 6 for just attending the match and for winning the match we got an extra 1. Not bad. No, 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 no. We get plus 6 XP. And we got one Superman. So it's, you get what I mean? Superman. Super point. Super Cena. Of course he's going to be super. So we are now underway in week two of Superstar Mod. And there's a limo pulled up. Well, a limo has just pulled up, folks. I wonder who's inside. Must be those centerfold models coming to pick me up. Of course, King would say that. JR, yeah, right. <laughs> Who could it be? Could it be... The mystery investor, Ric Flair, could it be the chairman, Vincent Mann, or could it just be Eric Bischoff? So we can go talk to the one known as Stone Cold Steve Austin, because that's the bottom line, because he said so. Let's go. Alright, Stone Cold, what do you want? You're scaring me, aren't you? No, I'm not. I can feel it. I can see uh, those beady little eyes. Alright then. If you think you've, you're tough enough, then why didn't you beat me down? Do you have the guts? Go ahead, hit Stone Cold. Oh no! Nah. What if we just got ourselves into it? Against Stone Cold of all people in a backstage brawl? Well guys, let's do it! So our brawls broke out in the backstage, Errol Hebner is here, so I guess this is now a contest for tonight. Which, the fans obviously always love a backstage brawl. But when, this, when it turns into a street fight, you cannot complain then, can you? I know I wouldn't, and he just he's just thrown us about like a rag doll. Oh, he's gone for the knee, which has been a big injury in Austin's career in the past, but you know what? Well, John Cena, we do not care. Let's just gloat to him again. Bring it, Stone Cold. We ain't scared of you. We ain't scared of no punk. Oh, no. Big crack in the wall. That's got to be dangerous. Oh my, what is he going for? 
big power bomb in the ground. Oh my god, we just literally broke down the wall in the changing room area. Oh, he's in the shower. That redneck needed some of that. Stone Cold just got the stunner on us. Oh no, we'll just beat his ass with this. Aye, we're opening a can of whip ass on you. See this, Stone Cold? This is what you brought on yourself. Oh no, he's got a whip our ass with it now. No, he's not. Oh my god, the big German suplex on the television. Now, now Austin's got the television, Cena's got that weight pull. Oh, and Cena wins with the weight pull. No, he's just attacked Daryl Hebner for some strange reason. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. Posters of the Divas in the locker rooms. Whoever was the past fans in here are really big fans of the Divas. He's got a television now, he's got a crush Stone Cold body with it. Oh my! He just crushed them with that television as if it was nothing. He's got the FU now, right onto the hard ground. He just doesn't care. Two. Two. Oh my god, there's a two count. Oh, and the ref's down again. Why does Cena keep attacking him? Nobody will ever find the answer. Cena's just leaving him. He doesn't even care about Stone Cold anymore. But Stone Cold has followed and now they're in the boiling, boil room. This is not a safe place to wrestle. For any man. Or machine. There's been past boiling room fights that have became very dangerous between Big Show and Mankind, Undertaker. Too many names to say. Now they're fighting on high heights, but Stone Cold basically just flipped off that. As if it, oh my god, big DDT. In the past, Stone Cold's broke his neck, so that could be very bad for him. Oh, he's just pushed him into that, he doesn't even care, and my god. No remorse from Cena whatsoever. Is he really going to go for the FU on the concrete? Holy shit, Cena just did and the camera became shaky for some odd reason. We'll get a one count, a two, and he kicked out again. Stone Cold just does not want to give in to this rookie John Cena. Stone Cold is beating greats like The Rock. He's not giving up to no rookie named John Cena. Cena is leaving again. I don't think he finds the boiler room safe enough to wrestle. They're, they've came out onto the entrance stage now. These men just do not care for their own lives. This is too insane. Cena is now gloating and taunting his opponent while it's standing on the announce table. JR and Jerry Lawler aren't even present for this great battle. I guess Eric Bischoff can now f have a reason to fire them. Is John Cena really going to make the great, a great wrestler such as Stone Cold submit? He did! That is a big feat in John Cena's small career so far in the WWE to defeat one person like Stone Cold. Not even Bret Hart could make Stone Cold Steve Austin submit. But we did. Us John Cena. So Eric Bischoff didn't even give us a match for this week. So I guess we can just skip out all of this. We have a new tag team champion, Triple H and Ric Flair. That's quite amazing. But we beat up Stone Cold Steve Austin, that's all that matters. Oh my god, it's the great one, Vince McMahon, the chairman. Why is he here? Why is Vince McMahon here in Raw? He owns a whole industry, Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. What's he doing here tonight? How are you all tonight? He's never been that nice. Good, I hope. Actually, you should all be grateful. Grateful to have something to do tonight in this play. Please credit out. Of course he wasn't going to be nice. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. John Cena, uh-oh. You're a great talent, no doubt. You're not like these other lo low-life scum in this town. You actually have a future in life. Yay! But don't get too cocky that I'm out here praising you. Oh, 
Remember, all WWE superstars are my property, they can make you and they can break you, and that's why Vince McMahon's a dick. Whether you'll be in WrestleMania main event next year or not is all up to me. So don't you forget that. That is all. Mr. McMahon has already flexed his authority before next year's WrestleMania. You better not cross the boss. Oh god. So we did quite good. We defeated one a massive wrestler like Stone Cold goddamn Steve Austin. Let's go on to the next program. So it seems Trish Stratus is approaches. What do you want? Oh, look, it's Ric Flair. It's the high flying, pro flying, kid stealing, wheeling, dealing. Ric Flair. I forgot the rest of it. You know, Trish, I was watching your match the other night. You were there in your brand parties. It's just an image I haven't gotten out of my mind ever since. And then, other night of the pay per view, just the way you won your match. I mean, you just looked like such a woman. Well, of course did. I'm sure you saw my match. I mean, just being in the ring and all, the, the physical interaction. Interaction, I just makes me feel like such a man. And I was just wondering a few mo moments ago, maybe just, maybe you'd, uh... If we could get together tonight, wow. Uh, hmm... Let's go with that one. Let's threaten someone like Ric Flair. Thank you, Cena. Well, who the hell do you think you are? You've gotten in the way for the last time I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, great. Another backstage brawl. So I'm making quite quick work of him, but we have got quite damaged because we fell off that cage-like structure a few hundred times while trying to knock him off it, but... If that's the risk we need to take to beat this guy's ass, but we'll just beat his ass with this. And I've realised that I've talked like this as if it's like a universe mode like thing. I'm not really looking for it to be like that. I'm looking for it to more like be a serious like um I'm saying it in the contest of a serious as in we play it as a game, we don't play it as our creation, like the way Delzinski does his universe mode, I'm not saying his universe modes are bad in any way, like, his universe modes, J-Man's universe modes are all great, but I'm just not looking for it to put that much creation-wise into it, like, I might do a universe mode in 2K16 when that finally comes about, but besides from that I'm not looking for doing anything. And I don't want to win it by submission because that's a really cheap way to win it. How do we get out of this? No. There we go, we got it, yeah. So as I was saying, I um when 2K15 comes about, we may do it, oh my god, big DDT and he's bleeding. Bleeding quite bad. But we've won this. I'm just looking for this to be a series of, of playing it, because it's a really fun game, but aye, that's it really. Oh, we can talk to the chairman, Vincent Mann, in the corridor. Let's go see what he actually thinks of us. Are we bad or are we good? Did you need to see me about something? Uh, there is someone I want to fight. Oh, is there something wrong with the match Bishop put for you tonight? Alright then, listen to what you have to say. Who do you want to fight tonight? Stace Keebler, really? We could fight Goldberg. Let's fight Goldberg. Uh, right, well, he's expecting a good match. John Cena versus Goldberg. Look at that match lineup. What happened to Raw nowadays? Like, seriously, like, Raw is amazing. Uh, here, I keep looking at my webcam to... because I keep thinking it's on, but it's not. But my god, this Raw is amazing. Goldberg versus John Cena. So we're hoping to make quick and easy work of this, and Goldberg's hoping to make quick and easy work of us, it seems. But that ain't happening, Goldberg, because we are John Cena. You don't realise what kind of person we're going to grow into be. We're going to grow into be the biggest wrestler in history. 
of wrestling. Oh no. Sorry, Errol. Didn't mean to. Let's see how good Cena does going up top. Oh my god, not well. Not well at all. That's just cost us the whole match, I think. Especially if he's getting the fucking jackknife in. Oh dear. That was bad. This is bad. Go on. Ah, oh, we get beaten. We get literally beaten and beaten faster. We should not have took that match. Not at all. That was bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. Goldberg dominated. Hopefully, just uh, it just leaves. Oh no! Is he going to attack us or is he just going to leave? I hope he just leaves. Cause we're hot. Alright, he's just got a taunt. That's good. Good Goldberg. Right guys, we have came to Backlash now. I'm not sure if we even have a match tonight, but... I hope we do, because Backlash is the first pay-per-view after WrestleMania. I remember Backlash, it was a great pay-per-view. Like, sometimes, sometimes it can be utter shite, but sometimes it can be great. Right, so I can talk with Goldberg. Let's see how we do with that after us fighting just there. See, you were pretty impressive last week. I never knew how good of a wrestler you were. But I think you're missing something really important. I don't think you have the heart. Why would you say that? See, what are you fighting for? Everyone has something that drives them. I hate to lose. I love the fight and I love the competition. Wrestling is what I love to do. A strong rivalry has started the experience. That's not a rivalry. Oh well. So who are we fighting? Can we put up attributes in fact? Or do they just put themselves up? I think they do, they just put themselves up. So that's fine. I don't mind that. Right, well, let's check the match card. Right, that's fine. What is it? We don't have a match. Great. Play. Come on, skip. Victoria won. Big Show won and Big Show and A Train beat Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Horse. Wow. WWE chat, alright, because this is a SmackDown pay per view and we're on Raw. I remember that now. Match WWE Championship Kurt Angle vs. Bork Lesnar. Let's go. And Kurt Angle won. Quite surprising, actually. Because Bork Lesnar is an animal. Oh no, it's Jerry Lawler. Hang on there, Cena. I want to offer you a shot at the tag team titles. How do you feel about that? Eh, uh, tag team titles. Um, challenge, fuck it. I knew you would like the offer, now let's talk about tag partners. Booker. Huh. Now we know what you're thinking. The two don't get along, right? But think about it, the fans won't see this coming at all. They'll go nuts. If you don't like this serve, then I can't offer you the tag shot titles. So let's do not know what we'll challenge. I don't mind going for the tag titles. It's going to be harder for the matches though, but... Aye. That's quite good. Right guys, but we're actually going to call the video there because... What's it called? 45 minutes we've been recording for, but that'll have to get edited down quite a lot. Because... Aye, why keep up? We've got Booker here. See what I heard about it. Uh, uh, but you know, I say, let's not let our past stand in the way. They, here's a copy of my autobiography. They send it and everything, take a look. Well, thanks. Biography, born to fight. Ah, oh, should we throw it away? Throw it, keep the book. Well, John Cena, we're the biggest baby face in history, we'll keep it that way. Music, yeah, to the fucking music. Because if, if that's going to be our tag team partner, we need to keep it special. Right, so uh, guys, we're going to call the video there. So, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button if you're new to the channel and like what you see. Maybe consider subscribing to become a creature. Comment down below if you're fine with John Cena being my character. It's just because when I remember. 
played it years ago. I think it was this game, I swear it was. Um, we ended up being able to fight against uh, Eric Bischoff and things like that, which was quite fun. So yep, like, comment and subscribe. I'm XT Game, you're the creatures, and I am signing off. Bye-bye.